Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 149. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 146 to 154. Hey, Trick 149, we're going to do a reverse two-way lookup, and this video is in response to some earlier videos I made, Excel Magic Trick 117 and 118. In these videos, we had duplicates. So we did reverse two-way lookup with duplicates. So in 149 here, I'm going to show you how to do a much easier formula when you don't have duplicates. Then in trick 149.5, we'll deal with a problem that arose uh, from 118. Okay, so let's go down here, and here's the situation. We want to do a reverse two-way lookup, and what that means is you take the number 409, and you look through the guts of the table, and you either want to return, so for 409, the column would be Oregon, or the row would be product 2. Now, let's do our formula, and we'll use uh, the index for, um, function. Make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Maybe not that big. We'll leave it there. All right. Um, equals index. And the, there's an array. And then we just need a row or a column number. For us, we're going to need a column number. So the array is this right here, because we need to return one of those column headers. And then comma, well, row, that's not what we want. We need a column number here. If we were returning California, we'd need a 1. If we were returning uh, Washington, we'd need a 2, an Oregon, a 3. So I'll hit comma, and there it is, column number. Now, this 409 sits right here, so the corresponding column would be 3. So we somehow need to create a formula here for column number that creates the number 3. Let's go ahead and do it. If, and we're going to ask, this whole range here, is that equal to this? Now this is an array. If you were to highlight this and hit the F9 key, you could see that it delivers a bunch of trues and falses. False, false, that's for the first row. And then false, false, true, that's for the second row. And then the remaining ones are false. I'm going to control Z so I can undo that. Now uh, this is the first part of if, so then we do comma. And the value if true is going to be, well, we need a column number. So I'm going to use the column function and highlight these three columns. Now, this wouldn't work right here, because if we highlight this and hit F9, you can see that's 3, 4, 5, when what we really want is 1, 2, 3. So Control z to undo that. And from that, we'll just subtract column. And we're going to click right here close parentheses. Well, that won't work either, because um, that's column 3. And this right here, if I do that and hit F9, 3, 4, 5. Well, if I subtract from it a 3, that would be 0, 1, 2. When I, what I really want is 1, 2, 3. I'm going to Control-Z. And actually, I forgot to put the minus there. There we go. So uh, what we can simply do, since we don't want 0, 1, 2, we want 1, 2, 3. We can then add 1. Now let's close parentheses on the if and close parentheses on the index. Now this is an array formula, so we'll control shift enter But then we're going to notice a problem, and we'll have to figure out how to fix it. control shift enter Uh-oh, it didn't work. It's giving California. Let's hit F2, and let's look at this array part here. I'm going to highlight that whole array from if to the, the end of the if parentheses and hit the F9. You see how that's um, almost what we want, false, 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 and then false, false, 3. And that means the or, this 409 is in the third column. That's an array, control Z. But look, it's in the middle of a function, and it's expecting a single number there. So this function index for column number is taking just the first part of it. I'm going to hit F9 again. It's just taking the false. And th that's not going to work when we really want to get the 3. Control-Z. Let's actually copy this. And this will be a, a, a good lesson in, in array formulas. Right now, since it's sitting as an individual character, it just takes the first one, which is a false. I'm going to come here to the beginning of the formula and type a space just to keep that formula. 
And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to highlight a range and we're going to see how that if would work if we entered it in as an array into all of the cells. Right? I'm going to type equals, control V, and this is an array formula, so I'm going to control shift enter. You can see that if we were to enter it into lots of cells all at once, it would show us all the values. What's happening right now is that index is taking that first false and not looking at that three. So we have to trick this formula. I'm going to come up here, click at the beginning, and get rid of this space. Remember, that's a bunch of falses, falses, threes. Well, what if we did something cool like put uh, a um, function around it, like sum? Well, if you add up a bunch of falses and three, you would get three. If you, even if you were to put max or min, max would look at all the falses and find the three. Min would look at all the falses and say, that's not even a number, and it would give us the three. You could even use average here. I'm going to try sum. And then I'm going to put a close parentheses. And now, because we put that sum there, it will actually look at all of them, add them all up, get a 3, and deliver. If we click right there, it will deliver that 3 to the column, uh, part of the index. Control Shift Enter. And sure enough, now it's Oregon. Now, just to show you, you could click here and change this to a max or whichever function that did some kind of aggregate thing. Control Shift Enter, and it still get the right one. In fact, over to the side here, I have examples of one, two, three different functions that I use just to show you that that could work. All right, now let's try it. Let's see if it works. Let's change this to, how about 747? So 747. Oh, it got California. How about uh, 860, 860? And sure enough, it got uh, uh, the Washington. So this is a reverse two-way lookup to get the columns. Now I want to. Now that works for the column. Now let's go down and do a formula for the row. We're going to use the same setup: equals index. But now the array we need to come up here. It's not going to be these column headers. It's going to be these row headers. I'm going to click Escape, and then I'm actually going to hide these just for the moment. Highlight these columns, right-click Hide, and that way we'll be able to see everything. Equals Index, and then we'll highlight these uh, row headers. That's the array, comma, and now we want a row number. And now we do our whole if this equals to this value right here. Comma, if that's true, then we want not columns, but row. I'm mean, not column, but row. And the row of those minus row of this first one. And then plus one. Close parentheses on the if, close parentheses on the index, control shift enter. We see that that doesn't work. And so we remember by hitting F2, we actually need to put some function like sum or max or whatnot. I'll put max. And then come and put a uh, close parentheses on the end and then control shift enter. So there we have it. We have, um, I'm going to unhide all of these. H highlight the 17 and the 22, right click unhide. And now if I make this a little bit smaller, now we have a beautiful uh, ability to do a, tr a reverse two-way lookup. If I change this to, say, uh, 409 and hit Enter, we have Oregon for the column header and Product 2 for the row header. All right, when we come back in our next video, we'll look address one of the problems seen in uh, video 118. All right, see you next trick.